Welcome back to That Girl Vid. Today we are reading Bone Star and Scrolls by Adam Rubin, illustrated by Daniel Sturman. The outskirts of town, there was the edge of the forest. There was a little old house. The only thing older than the little old house was the man who lived in it. Old Man Bigwire. Old Man Bigwire was so old when he sneezed, dust came out. She, she was also a grump. He hid by, he hated puppies. The only thing he liked was birds. All summer long, Old Man Bigwire picked the pictures of the birds that visited in his backyard. There were Lansley birds and Baca birds. Baby Baba birds and Yaba birds, even a rare Fugwire bird came by once or twice. Fugwire paintings weren't very good, but the birds never said anything. When the air turned crisp and the leaves began to change color, the old man grew sad. He knew that soon the birds would fly south for the winter as they do every year. And that's why he would be lonely. He had an idea. He filled the birds maybe with a stick, maybe with a cigarette. So Old Man Figuera built beautiful bird feeders and put them up, up all around his backyard. He filled the feeders with delicious seeds and berries and soon the birds came out to just to eat in Old Man Figueroa's yard. But birds weren't the only ones who liked bird feeders. The squirrels did too. Not many people knew this, but squirrels are clever wonderland creatures. In fact, fuzzy geniuses, they can make a house out of trees, a bed out of a bunch of leaves, and a little kit of twigs, dirt, and squirrel fit. And they are also excellent at math. Who said they were excellent at math? The winter was fast approaching. The squirrels gathered as much food as they could eat. Ready, they decided to take some of the bird food, and the birds weren't happy. Neither was Old Man Figuera. When he discovered what had happened, he showed his yell in a those darn squirrels! They filled up the feeders again, but this time he hung it back from a clothing line and went back inside, confident that the squirrels would no longer be able to take the seeds and berries. But the squirrels discovered, but the squirrels were demanded in all the Deceverous plan. It's time they took all the food from the bird feeders. The birds were furious. Humper, humper, humper! Yelled the bonka birds. Go, darn squirrels! Yelled Old Man Figuera. Yum, said the squirrels. Now it's it was time to for Old Man Figuera to discover a plan. He was to sell put supplies and brought lasers and champs. He brought wires and springs. He brought so many tools and vegetables around the bird field and then he had them. Nay, 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 shorted the squirrel bird. The squirrels stayed up all night working out their strength and, and drink cherry cola and and ate salt and vinegar chips to help them stay awake. Finally, they had it, the perfect plan. They would build tiny homes and prepare to launch themselves into the air between the lasers and the bird feeders. The first squirrel mercilessly hit a tree. The second squirrel went too, too high and landed in a bucket. The third squirrel sailed over the house. The the birds laughed and laughed. They each had a delicious awful of seeds and berries as the old man Figuire's feeders as the old man's feeders. Then they flew south for the winter as they did every year. 
Numbs will set the fake wire burn. After the birds left, Old Man Fig Wire was lonely and as he was everywhere, he fixed himself some collard cheese and pepper. His fair was not, but he was so lonely. Then he looked up at the window. The squirrels couldn't tell that he wasn't happy. Go away, shouted, shouted the old man. I don't like you squirrels. The squirrels had held a meeting deep inside the large tree. They decided to give old man the a present to make up for taking seeds and berries. As many people know this, but squirrels are not the only fuzzy genius. They also collect things that find them in the ground. These squirrels fed some stockpile of um, suspicious junk from, from, but would food for like bottle caps, popsicle sticks, pop, post it stamps. Finally, they had it a perfect gift. The squirrels shocked out losing the thick wire dimes and nickels and quarters. They flew a couple archaic tokens and out of $47.36, few plus pounds of ski ball, maybe squirrels aren't so bad, some for me and big wire. They raided the junk and got to work. When Old Man Figuar woke up the next day morning, he was amazed to see that the birds returned. The birds returned? Wait, but those weren't birds. They were squirrels in disguises. Great googly moly, said Old Man Figuar. This will make a quite a painting. He ran outside and and the laser and took down the lasers and the wires and the spring load and the traps. He turned all the bird feeders into squirrel feeders. Then he panted till his brush ran out of course. Squirrels were overjoyed as they party. Old man thick wire in Old Man Figuire's house. Those are true, said Old Man Figuire. He shook his head at the old man smiled. The end. Bye. See you next time. Like and subscribe. Bye.